baby blue, baby. Woo! That's a decent sized blue fish right there. That, ain't, that thing ate the whole daggone sardine. Woo! Well. Right away. Right away, man. That thing just hit. Damn, I bet we could be using some, uh, some Clark spoons right now. Catching some of these guys. That's a nice size blue. I'll take it. I'm gonna put that in the cooler actually, because that's not too big. Mm. I'll take that. That's like a decent fat little blue. I guess you call that a Taylor blue, but that's a bigger Taylor blue. So can't believe that thing inhaled that whole bait. I'll show you how big that bait is compared to this fish. I'm using baits this big and that sucker inhaled the whole thing. So just think about what that guy's eating. That's awesome. Here we go, let's get some more. All right, here we are back in the kitchen after catching that bluefish. Um, today I'm gonna show you guys, if you're lucky enough to catch a bluefish, uh, you know, you're probably down there with some friends and family, um, you know, and just one bluefish can kind of give everyone a little hors d'oeuvre. And I honestly like to fly, to fry my bluefish and I think this is just a great way to do it. You can kind of, you know, show everybody you're with, all your guests and all the friends and family you're with, uh, how good of a fisherman and how good of a cook you are here too. So, uh, this is kind of like a, a bluefish, um, uh, on a baguette. I guess you'd call it a, uh, bruschetta, a, a OBX bluefish bruschetta, if you will, or something like that. So we're going to fry this fish up and then we're going to put up our, uh, some tomato on a baguette and some sauce. Um, so yeah. We were lucky enough to get some bluefish. We're using Clark spoons and uh, here we go. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my bluefish and we're just gonna cut this up into little slices. All right, think like little chunks, like, you know, fish tacos are big. You can do this for your fish tacos too. Um, you know, however you wanna do this, it's kind of like a, a nice way to do it. My dad always used to fry these things and make them big fish sandwiches. And uh, sometimes, you know, eating a whole fish sandwich uh, isn't always the nicest thing for everybody, but some people can just enjoy like a little bite of your fish that you catch. And so this is a nice little way to do it, to share what you've caught down at the beach with everybody else. And, uh, you know, feel rewarded for your hard effort fishing down there while you're on vacation, which is probably a great thing. All right, so here we go. So I got these things in like little chunks. This is almost like the size of the fish I cut for bait. But this is delicious. And a lot of people don't think that bluefish is really the best. A lot of people think that the bigger bluefish are like more oily. Um, I can feel a couple bones in here. So I'm just cut a little V out of this one. I'll just pull it out, no one wants any bones. Oh, I'll just take this piece out. I don't like putting a piece of bones in there. So, here we go. Um, I've got my bluefish cut up. All right, I've got my oil going. One thing I want to say is that you always want to make sure you get that oil super hot. Um, not like super, super hot, but you want to get it nice and hot because that first piece will get like really soggy and like I said, no one wants that first piece. So, I'm going to get egg and I got my milk. This is like my egg wash. All right, so. I like to take some block bags, especially in down vacation. It just makes things a little bit easier. All right. Get my egg in there. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of milk, you know. You don't need a lot of milk, just a little bit of milk in there. All right. Nice wash. These things are really tasty. Um, just little morsels. And, you know, who doesn't like a little piece of fried, fried food, especially fresh off the beach? I'm telling you, one thing that people always say about bluefish is they're too oily or they're too fishy. And that's just because you get them from the store, they're a couple days old. But if you get one off the beach, um, you know, and you can cook it up that night or the next day, just fillet, make sure you fillet it right after you catch it. You don't let that thing sit in your cooler and get a whole bunch of water on there. Um, so here we go. So I got my fish over here. All right, put this egg wash. 
Everybody has eggs and milk, especially wee winks if you're sitting there and duck. All right, so I got that going. And now I'm just gonna mix this up real good and make sure they all get a couple pieces on there. All right, so there we go. I got that in egg wash. I got a big old spoon now. find stuff sometimes on vacation. All right, here we go. And then, in this bag, I'm throwing my fish fry. And I like the Zataran. That's what the guys at Dockside Surf down there in Dock recommended to me, but um, right now I'm gonna use this to use the Anna. There we go. All right, got my fish fry going on in here. I'm just going to take these little pieces out and pop them in. Alright, I'll be good enough for the first batch. I'm going to spill my egg everywhere. Alright, and all I'm going to do is just toss these suckers around. pieces out of here. I got some of my hands. Mm. Make sure you get them nice and good. You can actually use your hands to get them good. Shake and bake. Alright. Shake and fry. Yeah, those guys at uh, Bob's Bait and Tackle, they got us on the fish this week. They got us our baits. We were using, you know, big uh, finger mullet. We were also using these casting jigs and you know they, they know what's going on so we were able to muster a couple blues out of the trip and there are some sizable blues too so they're out there and if you're able to catch one you're lucky enough to catch one that's what you're gonna do so i got these chunks of fish all right and now i'm just gonna pop these guys right on the fryer like so i got that sucker nice and hot you can use a temperature if you want I just like to see it. Oops, don't splash. Right, here we go. All right, so I got this fish on. While I'm doing that, I'm gonna cut my baguette. And a couple pieces of tomato. Put a plate for the captain. seconds and I'm gonna get my tomato cut Tasty. Just 
little fried nuggets of love. I'll turn my oil off. a tomato on each of these guys. We're going to throw a little dollop of tartar sauce on a couple of these. Bam. Bam. All right, and we're going to try some of the cilantro lime. I just picked that up at the store. It looks kind of interesting, so it's going to be a little more fish taco-y. We'll see how that works. And now I'm just gonna throw a nice little piece of it. Boom. 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 And there we go. I got a little fresh bluefish bruschetta straight from the OBX. You did it yourself. Cheap and easy. I mean, you went down there and that's just gonna be the most delicious little bite you give to everybody. Everyone's gonna be like raving about bluefish because you caught it off the beach. And I'm telling you, that's gonna be like the best thing ever. So we'll try this bite of this one with this tartar sauce. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. It's like a mini fish sandwich right there. Just a little class up. Nice and crunchy. Mm. Let me try with one of these guys with the cilantro on here. Mm. I'll tell you what. That right there. It's worth waking up for in the morning. Five in the morning. Get out there. Look for those splashes. Get those casting jigs out there. Because that is delicious. That's like the best thing in the world. Fresh blue fish right off the beach. You want them like 15 inches, big enough that you can fillet them. You get a nice fillet in there. And just, that's gonna make everybody at your house happy and happy that you are fishing down on the beach. So, you know, bring, some, bring a little something down there. All right, guys, thanks again for tuning in to the Hicks Hooks channel. Thanks again for everybody down there. I had a great week, had a great week this week. Everyone's been wonderful. Super happy to see everybody. Bob's bait and tackle. John and those boys hooked me up. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's so many people down there, so many places to go. So, uh, Doc Surfside, you can get some good stuff down there. We Winks, they have all the stuff I needed. So, thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Mm, that is just great. Mm -mm.